Welcome back guys to my reaction series to Demon Slayer, we're up to episode 21 against Warp Rules. So, last episode, Rui was defeated by um, the other male Demon Slayer. Let me get his name, you know what? I'll, even Because we've been introduced to them already. Uh, and Shinobu took down the sister demon, but uh, the fake demon sister anyway. And yeah, where is uh, the other one? I think this is him. Is this him? Yeah. Uh, Giro, that's it. Yeah, Giro took down uh, Ruri. But uh, yeah, that was such a great episode. We got to learn a bit more about uh, some of their backstories, some of the demons' backstories, so Ruri's backstory and the uh, sister demon girl backstory. Uh, so he originally was like a normal human, well, not human, but, you know, normal demon girl. But she was cornered by the demon corpse and uh, Rui saved her. But to join his so called family, like she had to drink some blood and, uh, you know, uh, have her appearance changed to being uh, white hair and the bizarre sort of eyes, which uh, Rui did something to her eyes. Um, let's jump into this episode and see what happens next. I'm not re trying to read what it says. Uh, in three, two, one. Bunch of uh, kids playing in the snow. Ah, uh, that, all right, so yeah, that's definitely Rui. So we're going to learn a bit about, oh, oh dear. We're going to learn Rui's background, backstory. In fact, he's coughing. I'm assuming that he was a sickly child. So yeah, she, he, he has to stay inside because he's sickly and yeah, all right. Well, let's see where this goes from here. Because so far we've, I've only learned that Rui was sickly before he became a demon. So that's the reason why and how he became a demon. So I'm going to assume that's going to be learned this episode. Since we're rich, we're now reaching the end half of uh, season one of Demon Slayer. The, that most of the uh, villains that we've we've seen in the OP have already been uh, defeated, but have now been defeated. Against corpse rules. Yeah, this is a unique flashback. I like how it's like the way that it's like a uh, fish eyed, I guess is the best way to de uh, describe it. Like we're looking through of like a bubble into the past. Wow, he looks young there. Even Muzan looks really young there. So he was saved by Musun. But you still he still went ahead and did it.
I'm assuming that he killed his parents. He killed his brother or f sibling. A wonderful story, huh? I see. Despised you? Yeah. Uh, try to kill you. Try to kill him. Yeah, let me guess, he woke up and protected himself? Yeah. Killed his parents. Imposters. <laughs> yeah, he's so far gone now already. So, yeah, I was right. He did kill his parents. Oh, they uh, tried to kill... It's only now that you realize that. He came back for him. This man is such, again, I've mentioned this before, but such a great villain. He like uses his, he uses words as power. Like he, that's how he controls everyone through words. Well, no, you can't replace your real family is pretty much the message here. Even though, I'm not going to go into the topic of those who are like orphaned and something tragic happened in real life, but. Yeah, of oh, the Laura Five. So that means one of the Laura Five have been defeated. So out of the twelve now, there's like eleven left.
You won't see them again. Hmm. Sadly, probably not. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. And his hair's turning back. Well, I was actually kind of thinking I wasn't going to feel sorry for Rui at all. But it is, it has kind of gotten to me. And Rui has been defeated. Has been let go. Has moved on. Now what? That is the question. Sandro is one of those demon, uh, de demon slayers who has respect for demons. Yeah, he's finally realized who this is. Oh, nice. Wow. No one likes you. Oh, evil demon. Well, yeah, we're going to have to somehow explain what's going on to uh... Well, at least he's safe, but yeah, his hair's not going to come back. Okay, nice. So that that saved him in other words. <laughs> it stinks. All right. So how is this going to play out? Not happening. I don't think he's going to move. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, we know.
Nah, that... And he's still injured. You're going to have to move. Yeah, run. Tomoka is going to help by... Isn't that against the cult rules? Probably. I love the way this, this um, 3D effect of seeing things through his perspective. Oh, she's awake. No, well, someone's following. Yeah, she's going to follow. Again, this animation's great. Love it. She definitely does move like a butterfly. The other one? Is somebody else around? Yep, she's caught up already. I know Nezuko is going to be safe. Yeah. Oh, so there's another one. <laughs> Oof. So who's this little cute girl? Oh, nice save. <laughs> That's cute and adorable. <laughs> Run, there's a car. <laughs> there's that meme. That's where the meme comes from this episode. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's trying to block her completely. How's he going? <laughs> Bros are watching. Is he going to talk? <laughs> You're still saying that? <laughs> Brought back to head headquarters, huh? Better cop. Yeah, that's Nezuko. <laughs> so they're going to be in prison for a while, I'm taking it. <laughs> well, at least they're not outright going to, like, just take, you know...
Yeah, going in the no yeah, going outside he's injured. <laughs> That's bringing me in. All right, so we're going to get the whole group together. Well, there's a story there. Wow, he's still passed out. Yeah, that's going to get to you. You couldn't take down even one. Maybe. Finish treatment. I think I've kind of mixed at some point mixed those two up. Clean up crew. I guess that makes sense that you need somebody to come in and help out the survivors and essentially as yeah the term says clean up. Oh, it must be Dawn. Yep, Dawn. Now that is a beautiful sight. Yep, yeah, so they're going the Demon Corp is definitely going to have crutchens for Tanjiro and possibly Nezuko. <laughs> yeah now he wakes up ah yeah this is going yep yeah. so the higher ups <laughs> the higher up demon court is in front of him now so they're definitely going to question him about why are you traveling around river demon why and it like they'll probably know that she's his sister so they're going probably crutching him of like, why are you allowing her to live? And why should we keep you in the demon court, essentially? And then he can explain the story to them. But yeah, I, this is next little arc, I reckon, is going to be like an imprisonment arc until he is like cleared of all charges, essentially. Because I'm that's what I'm expecting. He's going to be cleared. And he's going to be able to see Nezuko again. After all, they are the main characters and, you know. In a way, we're kind of silly if Nezuko died. <laughs> I mean... But that will have to wait for another week. <laughs> She's still saying it.
<laughs> Master of the Mansion. All right, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so... Yeah, Tanjiro is even in more of a situation now. But I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. But that will have to wait. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. I'll be back next week for the next two episodes of Demon Slayer. A couple more weeks and then I will be up to the Demon Slayer movie, I believe. And then after that will be the um, second season. I'll finally, And I'll be finally, I guess, almost caught up. But yeah. Let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. You can find a link to my latest video here. A link to my YouTube channel will be here. You can find links to my Discord, anime lists, Twitter, etc. in the description below, as always, guys. And I'll see you next week for some more Demon Slayer. Otherwise, if you're watching any of my other reactions, I'll see you then. Bye.